Day two at the RC44 Oman Cup marks the start of a new format. Ah, so the first day of fleet racing, first regatta this year, we are looking forward for it. It's a um, pretty good condition. With three races scheduled, the 13 boat fleet headed out to the start line, ready for action. In race one, it was Gennady Temchenko's Katusha, winner of the previous day's match racing, who dominated in the early breeze. With last year's fleet racing champions, Team Aqua, in close pursuit. At every mark, the tightly packed fleet converged almost in unison. Katusha, however, stayed clean and fast, crossing the line once more in first, followed by none other than Team Aqua. Race three was the final of the day. With 15 knots of breeze and choppy seas, things were set to get interesting. Katusha and Aqua again leapt off the line, but this time Artemis Racing took charge and led the fleet around the course. In a day filled with close shaves, the talking point was ironbound. A collision with Team Aqua at the top mark resulted in them losing their scoop in dramatic style. Artemis took the win with Igor Lars Serif in second. Despite a penalty for the collision with Ironbound, two second places for the current tour champions left them full of praise for the venue. It's a great sailing venue, the setup's beautiful and uh, the breeze has been, the last two days the breeze has been great, so no complaints. Everyone, I mean you'd think that in these kind of conditions, 14, 15 knots of breeze and a big swell that would separate out a little bit on the windward mark and Everyone's, everyone's pretty much there, so it's full on. The boat's going well and we're feeling good, so we're looking forward to a strong season this year. I can see we have some good competition out there, so uh, we've got our up on our toes. With replacement parts found and a little help from Team Aqua, Ironbound will join the fleet for racing tomorrow. <laughs>